Hello, good afternoon. It is time for Wednesday Words of Wisdom. So I think from now on, my goal is to try to do my video on Wednesdays around one o'clock. So if, for those of you who are following and you're interested, um, that will be what I will be doing. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm really excited about the topic today. Um, this is something that is near and dear to my heart and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of us moms out there that can relate, uh, especially those of us who are of faith and we have a relationship with God. Um, I really want to speak to to you ladies today, you mamas or women of faith who um, I know that we all struggle with these things. And so from the perspective of faith, I wanted to um, just give you some admonishment today, but also some encouragement. So um, this might sound a little bit like conviction. Um, it's kind of supposed to sound like that. And again, this is a journey that I am on as well. So conviction is good because usually it moves us forward into the directions that we need to be going. So if you do hop on while I'm talking, um, say hi. Give me a little wave. I see someone's watching. I can't see who you are. But give me a little comment um, if you do, if you can relate to this. So I did put some stuff in the comments um, to this topic. Um, but I really want to talk to you mamas today um, of faith, talking about the importance of self-care. I think this is something that has kind of been lost and this is just generalized, I believe, moms, uh, women in general, but specifically moms, I think, because we tend to take care of everyone else except for ourselves, right? Anyone else relate? Say me in the comments. Um, this is something that I've shared a little bit. Uh, maybe you've seen some of my other videos. I did a free training a month ago or so talking about this a little bit, but I'm talking about just watching my my own mom um, raising six kids and homeschooling us and doing all these things and not really taking enough time for herself and I don't think it was um, on purpose necessarily I think it was just by default like you just get into this mode where you basically have to survive in life when it comes to raising kids and being a wife and all of this and so I really want to stress the importance of your self-care as a mom because um, you may have heard this before, but if you don't take care of you, you can't take care of anyone else effectively. And I know there are examples of this, and I've struggled with this, where I have so much on my plate that I'm taking care of my family, I'm taking care of um, maybe volunteering at the church, um, as well as, you know, I'm trying to build a business or working and all of these different things and you have these passions and, and life just gets crazy and busy and it's so hard to focus on what should be the most important. And I wanna challenge that today and say that the first thing that you should be working on is you. And I have some ideas behind how to kind of share these words of wisdom in the next few weeks and so I'll be watching for those. Um, but one of the things I wanted to talk to you about this is just the first, the importance of um, one of the reasons why I believe that you should take time for yourself in your health. Um, there are three main things I think that we, we all need to do for our health, and that's our spiritual health. It's our soul, which is always being perfected. And then it's our physical health, right? So all of these three things have to be happening in order for you to have a healthy life i believe these are the things these are the things that you won't just be surviving in life you'll be thriving so hi jade thanks for waving um so i wanted to read you a verse from the bible um just as an admonishment to this idea because i really believe it's something that as women of faith, we need to um, really dive into and seek from the Lord how to do this. Um, but this verse comes from Romans 12, 
um, it's probably a familiar verse for you, 12 verse 1, and it says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living and holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. This is truly the way to worship him. And this is the NLT version. Um, I really think, um, you know, different versions say different things, but I like this version because it talks about using our lives to worship the Lord. And I think as women of faith, that's our main priority, right? To live a life that is honoring and glorifying to Him. And so we do that while it's saying this in here through our bodies, right? So our bodies have to be healthy in order to completely and fully be able to worship Him in the way that we should. So I just wanted to stress that um, really quickly. And then the, the second idea I wanted to talk about with this today was the fact that as women, we tend to compare. We tend to look at everyone else's journey and we think, oh, it must be nice that they have that life or well, they must have lots of time to work out and prep their food and and they have a great body and, and all these different things. And we tend to look at everyone else and we forget that, and this is the main thing I wrote in my comments too, is that this is your fight. Your spiritual health, your physical health, it's your fight. It's not anybody else's fight. And so I've just been um, hanging out in a new group that is pretty awesome, uh, full of moms. And um, one of the things that the coach in that group talks about, which I think is awesome, and she and she even made like bands that has this saying on it. And it says, I will never compare my journey to another's. Or maybe to another mom's, I'm not sure exactly. Um, and so that's something I wanted to stress too, is the fact that, first of all, you need to make sure that your journey is happening. You need to take responsibility for that and you need to be doing something about it. And second of all, you need to not look at the other moms around you and compare. We all need to celebrate wins. We all need to encourage each other, but every journey is going to be different. It's gonna look a little bit different and not everything is gonna work the same way. We're all made different, right? God made us all different in different ways. So those are the things I wanted to stress today for my words of wisdom is, first of all, take self-care very, very seriously. And then the second thing is, is do not compare. This is your fight. You take responsibility for yourself, for your spiritual well-being, for your soul well-being, and for your bodily well-being. All right? So those are the things I have for today. Thanks for watching. I see Sam. Hey, Steven. Um, share this video with your friends if you have people that you know that struggle with this. So this has been a conversation. And in the comments, let me know, are you ready to commit to your self-care? Just write self-care in the comments and let me know. Um, I want this, these Wednesdays to be encouraging and maybe a little convicting to move us in the directions that we need to go. So you guys have a great Wednesday. I'll see you later.